Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Zaparis. Such a difficult situation unfolding across the region. Even locally, we're seeing that drought, a moderate to severe drought all across southern Wisconsin. Farther north, actually a little better, but you're still on the scale abnormally dry as well. I've had uh, farmers reach out, folks that do lawns, and they're saying this is tough. Are we going to get that rain? We do have some showers and storms in the forecast, but it's still more than 48 hours out. Our weather system developing as you look back towards Idaho and the Pacific Northwest, that should move our way as we get towards the end of the work week. If we had to be dry, though, might as well have low humidity and a beautiful day on tap. That's exactly what I'm looking at as we check out Picnic Point, Lake Mendota, a couple boaters out there enjoying the uh, late morning heading into the afternoon. We're tracking temps getting to the low 80s today as we get later into the afternoon hours and we'll still stay plenty bright. UV index of a nine means a sunburn in as little as 15 to 25 minutes. So of course, as Rebecca was mentioning, we want to make sure you and your kids are all slathered up with a sunscreen ready to go today. It's low humidity and we'll continue to track even lower humidity tomorrow. Humidity levels on the rise Thursday and that's our next chance for showers and storms. I think a light wind out of the north and northeast today, keeping us dry, along for a few fair weather pop up clouds. Other than that, though, ample sunshine until sundown and tomorrow just some high thin clouds passing through, but another dry setup for your midweek. We have high pressure and control now coming in from Canada. That's allowing for dry weather and lower humidity along with those lower temps. So we're staying comfortably mild for your Tuesday. That'll sprawl over the Great Lakes region tomorrow, keeping us brighter, I think. So we'll get rid of those mid-level clouds. And as we get into Friday or Thursday, rather, a couple isolated storm chances. Thursday night is what I'm targeting for the highest chance for showers and storms. And we are already in a level one to level two threat for severe weather. Thursday late day into the overnight hours for gusty winds and potentially some small hail. How much rain on the way? Widespread, I think we get a third to a half inch with hot spots more than that if you get underneath one of those stronger storms and as we get towards the end of the weekend and early next week, I think we get another half inch or three quarters of an inch of beneficial shower activity if it holds together. Fingers crossed it does. 81 degrees today, mostly to partly sunny and staying mild and comfortable. A little cooler than what we woke up to this morning down to 52 so you can keep the AC off. Maybe you could open up the windows. Sunshine tomorrow, 81. Your seven day forecast heating up as the rain chances come back. We have a high of 90 on Thursday with increased humidity, albeit it will be breezy with winds from the south. That'll get those isolated storm chances in here. Higher chance for storms Thursday night into early Friday. Saturday promises to be dry, I think. Sunday toss up at this point, but there are storm chances for Father's Day and the first day of summer. So Rebecca, you and I were talking about the dads wanted to get some outdoor I plans know. done. Saturday, the better the two weekend days okay. if you want to make those. All right, will do. Thanks, Max. Mm -hmm.